Kia ora, Coast Kapu Tokuna. The police would like to announce that we have recovered the two Lindau paintings stolen in 2017 from the Pano Art Gallery. Now, we've worked with an intermediary who's on behalf of others and they've been returned and we've returned them to the rightful owners yesterday. So, for me, this is a good news story. You know, like you get involved in investigations and you want to resolve them, you want to solve them, and the significance, particularly the cultural significance and the value of these paintings, uh, we never gave up hope, and now we've had them returned, and yeah, that, it's fantastic. What well, can you tell us about the reaction of the, um, of the police officers who went to tell the gallery owner that the paintings were coming back, and also um, the gallery owner's reaction to them as well? So, obviously the police staff, including myself, have been involved from the start, really happy about this. This is, this is a good news story. And the gallery on behalf of the owners also really, really pleased. Does the owner have it now or is it...? Oh, I'm not going to discuss where they are, but they have been returned to their rightful owners. Well, what do we know about what's happened in this five years? It's a real mystery. Uh, you know, you said it was a good news story and it is, but do, we, do, do police know anything of what's happened in, this, in these five years? So our investigation is continuing and as a result of the return we've looked at doing all the forensic testing and so we're waiting for those results. Uh, we will go back over the investigation file and we'll see where it can take us. What we're wanting to say is that we're still open to people coming forward with information. Now over time loyalties and allegiances can change so we're happy if people come to Crime Stoppers or want to contact the police. We're still looking for people to come with information that can assist us solving who did the burglary and who stole this? Are you sure that intermediaries weren't involved in the taking of the paintings? Look, I'm not going to go into that detail. Uh, that's been confidential. And what I can say is the priority was to get those paintings back. And when we have. you say forensic information, is that um, in the form of fingerprints themselves on the paintings or something else? So we do just normal forensic testing, as we do a lot of crime scenes DNA and exhibits. And like that, all the normal fingerprints, DNA, all that. What can you say about the changing loyalties of the um, people involved in this return? Well, no, I'm, I'm not discussing who has returned them, mm. just that there might be people out there who, over time, the loyalties have changed, and now that we've been returned to the police and we've returned the right owners, might want to come forward and speak to us. Were gang members involved? I'm not commenting on the, uh, the people involved. What state are the paintings and how, how bad is the damage? Yeah, there's some damage. Obviously, I think some appears to be caused at the time of the burglary, you know, because the vehicle's back through the window of the art centre. How, sorry, how rare is it to have, you know, of the stature as well, Lindauer, part of our history? How, how rare is it first for them to be stolen and then Do we have anything to compare this with? Yeah, there have previously been other items found after a number of years of going missing, you know, and, and I'm aware, not the exact detail, of another painting previously that has been stolen and then returned. Makan? Good Have Māori been involved in any way, because they're, you know, there were uh, Rauru, I think, that were the, were the names, have Māori been involved in any way in the investigation, um, either to help or, or another... Well, obviously, at the very start of the investigation, that was the cultural significance was important, and I've worked with our uh, Murray and even liaison officers just in regards to their return. And uh, but we just wanted to have the return. Just it was all quiet, and we didn't want a fanfare about the return. People don't, the owners don't want that, um, and I understand that. What's the damage? Will the damage to the paintings be returned? Will be able to be restored, sorry? Look, we're hoping so. That will be our, up to the art centre people and the, the experts there. I think people will remember those CCTV um, photos from the time. We've blasted them everywhere. Um, what can you say about the role of those photos in your current investigation? Well, that's one of the things that we're doing. We're going back over the original investigation and looking at exactly what fits where and but we're open to information coming in. Do you have an ID on those people um, now, five years later? No, we never identified who committed the burglary at the time. Mm. And you know, that, while it's great to get the paintings back, you know, as investigators, we still want to solve the crime. Have 
have these intermediaries who, who return the paintings to you, have they given you information about who, how they got them and where they may have got them? I, I'm not going to talk about our ongoing investigation where we're at there. Interpol, you uh, con police contacted uh, Interpol at one stage quite early in the investigation. Did that turn up any leads uh, in the original investigation? No, we did have some false leads at one stage. We had some information to suggest that they'd been taken overseas and were being offered for sale on the dark net, but that we've got them and we've returned them, so that's not true. When you talk about the owner, does, and I know you can't say too much about them, but are there any plans to sell the paintings again, or are they happy to have them? What, do, you, do you know anything more about that? No, we don't know exactly what's going to happen. Obviously, if they can be repaired, they'll be repaired, and then it's up to the owners what they want to do. To solve something, to, to see something return, how does that feel as an investigator? Obviously still a job to do, but what does, what does that feel like? Oh, look, after five years, we're talking about April 2017. Yeah, it, you do feel a bit of pride, and it's, yeah, it's a, it's a good news story for me. You know, usually I'm standing here, and it's around death and tragedy. Um, but here's a good news story. What about the two um, officers that got to go into the gallery and got that little bit of face-to-face um, contact with someone who's got such a big vested interest in these paintings. What did they feed back to you about that experience? With the return of the paintings? Yeah, well, that initial step anyway, um, in terms of talking to the gallery. I was present as well. I was present as oh, well. well, well and right. I, Tell it was fantastic. Right. They were so happy. Um, yeah, maybe, you know, they probably thought they were never going to see them again. And, and they, they have. And they were, looking after, they were looking after it for an auction sort of thing, so they must have felt a little bit of responsive, you know, that pit of your stomach feeling of not, look, you know, even though they didn't, but, you know, not looking at losing something that wasn't yeah. theirs. We know that the art centre, they were on display and there on behalf of the owners. So, yes, they felt a little you know, embarrassed and awkward about the situation, but, you know, they didn't commit the burglary. So and, you know, and with their return yesterday, I can just say they are so happy. So you were present for the, the gallery step. Um, and were you also present for the, the owner's step? Were you there as well for that? No. Yeah. no. So, what, so who was involved in that? Was it um, other members of the... the so, so I'm not going to go into the details of who the rightful owners are? No, but, um, you, but just tell us about the, um, the conversation, the, the emotions that were um, in that meeting when you told them they were getting the paintings back. Well, all it was was one of our investigators who'd been on the case since the beginning. Uh, was in contact with the different various people involved, including the art centre. And uh, yeah, the, yeah, I can just say that they're happy. I know they're happy. You can see the smile on their face. They're grateful. The gratitude was there. Yeah. Does it tell us anything? We had a meeting stolen uh, a couple of years, a couple, 2019, I think it was, out of the Auckland Museum. Um, that has been returned this year. We don't see these cases very often, but they do capture the imagination. Both of them are linked to Māori in some way. Are, are, there any, are, there any, are there any similarities in the cases in terms of the... Not, like, can you tell us? So I wasn't involved when the media was stolen, so in that case, but I'm aware of it. Uh, there, obviously there's cultural significance in these two cases because of the item stolen. And we accept that and we understand that. And uh, I think we're grateful too from a cultural aspect to be able to give back you know, part of our country's heritage. What was the motivation, do you think, of the, um, of the intermediary? We, we don't need to know who they are or their connection to, or anything, but what do you think um, sparked their action in this case? Yeah, I, I can't go into the details around that. There's confidential. Yeah. Will there be more, um, will, because of the intermediary, are you expecting to do more interviews or um, in the next few months? Well, our investigation will continue. We will look back at you know, information we've had, what we've dealt with, and we'll wait for our forensic results from the examination of the paintings. Will there be more um, staff um, given to this investigation now, or will it, will it tick along with the same team? Well, over five years, the team's changed. But the team who have been involved, a small group of investigators, with the return of the paintings, will stay involved. But no more staff? There's no need for more staff. The paintings were missing for you know, quite a long time, five years. Had you kind of given up hope of ever finding them? No, you never give up hope. But you know, as time goes on, you think, OK, maybe we're not going to. But 
Yeah, over time, and it's been reported in the media, you know, there's been information around the paintings. And, uh, so, where was the pick-up point? Like, is there anything you can tell no, us about I'm how it came? No, I'm not going to discuss the uh, return, but just the fact they have been returned and they are now with the rightful owners. Thank you, everyone. Yep. Thank thanks, you. thanks, people. Thank you. Good news.